Okay, now if we, uh, when we draw pattern, create and do everything for our character or avatar, it's a time to render it if you want it. Here you can go to the render and you can go to the both side. And here go to the render and we have two tab in a 2D render and 2D pattern. This is a render. This is my previous render. Uh, we have a tool here. First, for rendering, if you are in the first time, you have to click here. Click in a scene to refresh the render or refresh it. You can refresh your render. <clears throat> Waiting for refreshing. And here is our rendering. It is a uh, live linking. You can rotate your character here and render it if you want, as you can see. You can go in and render this image size that we want to explain the sitting of this and here you can stop it this is final render if you send set the render you can find a render image and uh video this is gonna stop it here you can if you satisfied with this image here you can save the current image you can click save and say png jpeg this current image without any uh, other continue for rendering okay at this time and <clears throat> here showing a save folder if you have a save folder here that we can in a settings you when you click in the image and video properties we have a most important properties very important properties for image and video here as i said before you can <clears throat> export a stainless simple state st still image or ten table image or animation. If you, uh, as you are, as you learned in the previous lesson, if you go to library and the motion, or you import your FX that has a motion, you can anim, you can render that animation instead of uh, video capture animation. This isn't just simple, but this isn't render, real render. First, we want to explain the image viewport. Yeah, current image or custom view that you created. If you have a colorway and here the image size you can define your image size for example hd okay you can create a default size as me or portable or anything that you want here you can zoom it i think yep yeah this is the size of that you can <clears throat> change the image size for output this is a just preview it's not important it's on height you can change it maintain ratio it means if you turn it off if you turn it on if you change width the height will be changed corresponding in the pixel resolution ppi pixel per inch is important this number is nice here is a background interesting that is if you want you can turn the background and refresh it to define it <clears throat> and as you can see our uh, picture size is increasing and now you can for um, applying these settings you have to refresh it or if you have a, a nice pc you can define it as a Real time. As you can see, if you change it, you can change it in real time. Okay, we decrease the image size to render it fast. And here, you can assign any background for your or a texture here or background <clears throat> color, any background color that you want. Nice. But I want transparency that this is an export as a PNG if you want. Here is a file name. You can say, okay, I want to set it a project name or a custom name that you want. The important thing is the pass. You can assign it, for example, on a desktop on here. I set it on the desktop. Okay, it's set on a desktop. And here it's my format PNG. I stop it. And you can set a PNG or JPEG and you can save html file interesting as i said before okay this is render sitting 
And now I want to explain turntable image. As you can see, other sitting will be appear. How many image do you want to uh, create for this turntable? Mm, for example, yeah, in this direction, nice. I want to four or for example, if you want to exactly go 360 degree, you can add 360 image for smooth turn. But I go to eight. Nice. Stop it. Uh, rotation axis auto. No, I want to exactly in the center. You can change the direction. It's exactly like the turntable in a file video capture. But this is a final render. Okay. This image size. And now you can go and make it final render. If you change it, you can. Uh, click the final render and as you can see you can hear the process here it's the one from eight image that it will be rendered and as you can see it's process for render and rendering with the default setting as you can see it's nice <clears throat> image number one is finished then image number 10 two two three and so on okay i stop it stop it and uh, I want to, for example, very fast two image. Then preparing to render. And okay, we have just two image to render. And I'm waiting for render, and it gives me two render for time table. Okay, and you can give it in the desktop. If you have an animation here, you can turn on animation. Uh, entire region you can or play region it's very important with play region you can go to the animation and change it <clears throat> simulate it don't forget it you can refer to the previous lesson you can change the uh, width and height maintain ratio and um, here is the format for animation yeah here uh, you i want to instead of uh, as you can see, in uh, for one second, we have 30 frame or 60 frame. <clears throat> As you wish, we can change it in an uh, animation setting. Uh, it gives you, for example, for one second, 30 uh, frame for you. If you want to automatically give you MP4, you can turn on and save in video. Here you can frame per second, change it. That's nice. Okay, other setting is nice. And here, instead of the image format, you can change the AVI uh, format. Or if you change it to the AVI, it's uh, it's a go transparency for you. Okay, it's a transparent video if you want. But if you change it to the MP4, if you refresh it, it's turned the background back. I think. I think change it to the i think a avi yeah for a video you cannot uh, delete the background just uh, we have to uh, for transparency background in video we need uh, mov uh, format that uh, this software does not support just for video we have to have a background so be careful about the exporting the video. Stop it. So you have your animation, you can do it. And okay, we come back to the still image. And everything is nice. And you can render it if you want it. So don't forget if you change any setting, you can always turn on uh, interactive render and render. In the next lessons, we are going to the camera setting, light setting, and render properties. And I introduced the interesting light system here. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.